And in the same spirit, we're going to be shifting now over to the Philippines. And very curious uh, with Mr. Osorio, if you could share a little bit more as well as how ENET data and activities are contributing to policymaking in the Philippines. So over to you. Thank you, Courtney, for that uh, second uh, questions and, of course, our response. Um, actually, the Philippines uh, has already uh, used the, the ENET uh, data as a uh, part of our baseline information in the uh, identification of a hat specified areas related to acid uh, deposition, especially those uh, nearly highly urbanized uh, areas and uh, large coal fired uh, power plants. And uh, in fact, part of our way forward also as uh, far as uh, our IEC uh, program is concerned, we already use this data as part of our information campaign for the stakeholders like the NGAs and the, the general public. So that means um, as, as our way forward for next year's uh, activities as for ENET, uh, we are proposing for uh, budget allocation to, to expand the uh, uh, other areas in the country to integrate the, the acid deposition monitoring and uh, we will be strengthening our existing um, monitoring station as far as uh, the air quality management is concerned in the country. Thank you.